The Distinctive Schools Data Dashboard gives us a lot of valid information to give us some strong um, insight into the usage and the performance data for each program that we use in our school building. You'll see across the top is listed as each program that we use. Some of them are specific to certain grade levels and some are used building wide. The um, portion that I use most frequently is for the literacy program that we use in K-5 to called Lexia. I am the fourth and fifth grade instructional coach, so when I'm using the Lexia data, I'm specifically looking at those two grade levels in comparison with other grade levels in the building as well as um, the different schools in our network. The data point that I typically use most frequently is Lexia usage and Lexia performance data. So I'm going to take you through the Lexia usage data protocol. When I click on Lexia usage data, it's going to take me to a page that shows this information for each school in our network. And when I scroll down, I'll find West Belden, which is the school I currently work at. Here you'll see each grade level is outlined for the percentage of students meeting recommended usage by grade and it's broken up into time periods. I'll always look at the most recent. I do notice the trends throughout the year. When I'm looking to prepare for a data meeting that I'm having with my team, I'll look at the fourth and fifth grade data specifically. Uh, looking at our West Belden usage for four or five, so fourth is purple and uh, fifth is light blue, I'll look at those two. Looking at the fifth grade data, this tells me right away that 100% of students are meeting their usage for this time period. This is really great information to have, although I'll always check in with my teachers. I know that this grade level specifically is not on my radar for having to intervene in any way since all students are currently meeting their usage. Looking at fourth grade, really good data, 94%. Since it's not 100%, I from here what I'll do is I'll look at the actual data report from Lexia to see who specifically those kids are that are not meeting usage. This is the Lexia report. What it does, it will show me which student names, their predictor of completing the program. Here is where it shows me their usage. So this is their goal and their target and it shows me which students have met their usage um, and which students have not. So based on this information, for example, I see here that Savannah did not meet her uh, minutes last week. I can always change the time period. Um, but what I would do here is in my data meeting with my team, we'll look to see which students specifically need an intervention or a check-in to make sure they're uh, meeting their usage for this data period um, in order to make sure we bump this 94% up to 100.